Lord Stark. Lord Varys. I was grievously sorry to hear of your troubles on the King's Road. We are all praying for Prince Joffrey's full recovery. Shame you didn't say pray for the butcher's son. Renly! You're looking well. <laughs> and you look tired from the road. I told them this meeting could wait another day, but... But we have a kingdom to look after. I've hoped to meet you for some time, Lord Stark. No doubt Lady Catelyn has mentioned me. She has, Lord Baelish. I understand you knew my brother Brandon as well. <laughs> All too well. I still carry a token of his esteem. From navel to collarbone. Perhaps you chose the wrong man to duel with. Well, it wasn't the man that I chose, my lord. It was Catelyn Tully. A woman worth fighting for. I'm sure you'll agree. I humbly beg your pardon, my lord Stark. Grand Meister. How many years has it been? You were a young man. And you served another king. Oh, how forgetful of me. This, um, <clears throat> this belongs to you now. Should we begin? Without the king? Winter may be coming, but I'm afraid the same cannot be said for my brother. <clears throat> His grace has many cares. He entrusts some small matters to us that we might lighten the load. We are the lords of small matters here. <clears throat> my brother instructs us to stage a tournament in honor of Lord Stark's appointment as Hand of the King. Mm, how much? 40,000 gold dragons to the champion, 20,000 to the runner-up, 20,000 to the winning archer. Can the treasury bear such expense? I'll have to borrow it. The Lannisters will accommodate, I expect. We already owe Lord Tywin three million gold. What's another 80,000? Are you telling me the crown is three million in debt? I'm telling you the crown is six million in debt. How could he let this happen? The master of coin finds the money, the king and the hand spend it. I will not believe John Arryn allowed Robert to bankrupt the realm. Lord Arryn gave wise and prudent advice. But I fear his grace doesn't always listen. Counting coppers, he calls it. I'll speak to him tomorrow. This tournament is an extravagance we cannot afford. As you will, but still, we'd best make our plans. There will be no plans until I speak to Robert. Forgive me, my lord, son. I had a long ride. You are the king's hand, Lord Stark. We serve at your pleasure. <laughs>